Oh, oh here they are. Oh, get down, get down. <laughs> What's going on guys? Today, we're bringing you the mini game that you guys always ask for, but we're doing it car week edition. You two are gonna be the seekers. We are gonna play city camouflage in downtown Carmel, Ocean Avenue. Who, who's actually gonna be the driver? You guys figured that out yet? He's gonna drive. All right, he's gonna drive. You're gonna be the cameraman. Yep. I have a mysterious vehicle of some sort. They have absolutely no idea what it is and they're gonna be scouting the streets of Carmel looking for me in it. And because my car is so bright, it's the perfect seeking vehicle. I'll know at all times where they are and if we happen to uh, converge. You will either like just get lucky and spot me instantly or this could take hours. So we'll see. Brandon's warming up his car. He's gonna take me to the uh, hiding vehicle and they're gonna start up this thing and you guys can just head straight to Carmel. All right, so we're on our way to Ocean Avenue. Jack's beating us in whatever. We don't know what he's going in, so this is going to be interesting. Ah! What, what's your guess, Justin? What do you think he's in? Uh, probably Stradman's Bugatti, to be honest. I, yeah, that's, that's kind of my guess because that's like super unlikely. We are saying goodbye to the Seekers. All right, they're going to meet us in town. I'm getting dropped off. They saw me leaving a white shirt. So I made sure. I only brought two hoodies on this trip. The other one's the color block, and that's a little bit of a giveaway. So I'm gonna put on the keep it clean one, and I'll probably wear it up in the car. I also brought aviators. We're gonna try and be as low key as uh, ultra motive possible. Yeah, we look like snot. So yeah, these are our uh, camouflage options what you get when we do city camouflage car week edition we ain't letting you guys down this is the hamilton collection i present to you some of the craziest hypercars and the craziest people on earth because they freaking put a roof box on a chiron which i support i mean you get i mean you know it's it's clearly a yeah, thing of taste in this right. group so i'm gonna hide in one of these two vehicles the thinking is like i rarely ride in hypercars ever they're, they're just i'm the thinking is that they would never suspect that there, there's no way jack's gonna actually be in a p1 or a chiron the way that that could flop though is that these are very attention grabbing cars and they might look directly at these and then look directly inside of them they got like and no see me too. they have no tin either <laughs> this is how they're filling up <laughs> oh he got the diagonal parking that's line. pretty smart actually <laughs> what do we think is a better vehicle that i should hide in because i noticed that you guys sadly don't have tints on either no so, so i think you shown in the kia <laughs> behind these two. Oh. Because there's no way they're going to look inside the Kia when these two drive past. Yeah. The thing is, honestly, is that if I'm in the Kia, I don't think they ever will find me. Um, no, they're, yeah, right. it'll, it'll go on for way too long. Yeah, that's we're what she said. To, yeah. That is what she said. <laughs> yeah. My strat is uh, we're going to go with the P1. Just because I feel like the Chiron has been fully branded to their uh, YouTube channel with the ski box and stuff and I just feel like that might be, they might think like, oh, okay, those are YouTubers, Jack might be working with YouTubers. Whereas this car, if you're not like really familiar with the Hamilton collection, you might just think it's just another millionaire rolling around in Carmel and they may not anticipate me in it. It's just got a little more sleek design. Maybe I could hide myself better. All right, so we're here on Ocean Avenue, we're parked up. We just got here, we're just waiting for Jack now. We did not crash the car, <laughs> we made it. This is my first time driving a hypercar of any sort and it's a freaking McLaren P1. And it is one of the best specced out ones. We've got Brandon, he's gonna be my cameraman for all of this. He didn't even know he signed yeah. up for this. <laughs> Driving into town, so get ready uh, to start seeking. Make sure you are on the lookout. Okay. Let's go. We're on our way. <laughs> All right. Let the games of City Camouflage Car Week Edition commence. All right. So we're on the lookout. I'm not too sure what to expect, so I'm going to be looking in everything I see. So he could be in something super flashy and obvious, 
or he could be, I mean, honestly, even supercars right now is like normal traffic, so this makes it a lot harder for us. This is gonna be the most accurate city camo because it's just a cluster of cars. For real, like this it, is- It is actually ridiculous how many cars are in here. Like, dude, just right here, you know, you have a 3RS. This is about as close as we can get to Forza City camo. Pretty much. So, how do you like driving this? Dude. <laughs> this is so surreal. Like luckily I've had experience in a 720S to prepare myself, but like this just feels like a different animal. There's no rear visibility whatsoever. There's so much curvature and hips and everything that I see around me. And it's pretty freaking loud. It's, this is not that tame. Bugatti is way more of a luxury cruiser. This is just a full on race car. I'm, I'm not gonna have like any room in the Carmel streets to like really get on it or anything like that and I don't even know if I trust myself to do so. Here's the craziest thing is that they may not expect me in this and I don't think they'll expect me driving this. Alright, you lead right in front of me and let's go up and down because my strat is that if you're in front it might help us out. Because if we're in we're the first thing that they see they might swap me out first. So I'll just I'll, I'll follow right behind you alright? What's, what's our like radius? Um, just the main Ocean Avenue. We'll just go up and down and then maybe hit some side streets here or there. All right, sounds good. We're really trying to figure out what car this man could be driving because all we really can think of is that it's something car obviously worthy. Right, like it's gotta cool. be it's gotta be car week worthy. Like he's not gonna be in a Prius, right? Imagine if he is though, that would be interesting. Right. I don't know man, I haven't seen Stradman's car yet, so <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure what's That's going honestly on here. what we're looking for at the moment. That, that really is. We are gonna we're gonna sneak behind the Chiron. Oh, right oh, the R8s! Right. Get down, get down, put the camera down, put the camera down. Okay, we just saw there's a P1, P1. A, P a Chiron with a roof box <laughs> just passed by. We're gonna go chase them down. Uh oh, they're following. They're literally several cars back, they're following us. So they came up over to the left side and they were facing this direction. But I turned my head this way, so all they saw was a hood and some glasses, and I told. I told Brandon to put the camera down. We're gonna pull these guys over. <laughs> they're naughty with our siren lights, you know. <laughs> I think they're behind following. Wait, are they? I don't yeah, see no, them. They are. They're two cars back. Oh, they're still back there? Yeah. Oh shoot, they're following us. They might be already on to us. But they can't they can't know for sure if they're following me. There's no way they know it's me. <laughs> the roads around here is making it a lot harder than normal because like this thing's so damn low. Or dang low. Yeah, stop swearing. So. <laughs> this thing is so dang low that we can't Yeah, this go sucks. Fast, Dude, you know? I can't rip it. Like I can't break his car. <laughs> yeah, like this sucks. Forza really kind of skews your your perception on reality when like you know you're just ripping around in a you know an RE at like hundred miles an hour. That's as much as you can rip it <laughs> in Monterey. Yeah we just hit the speed limit so Okay, yeah. I think we lost them. I think we somehow lost them through all this. So they definitely know these two cars are driving around now. There's no way Justin and Zach missed a Chiron and a P1 that just crossed paths pretty much. It just completely crossed over in front of their faces. We're gonna see. Okay. Oh, they're down there. They're right, Ah, oh, they're right down there. They're way down there. Nobody's in there. Nobody's in, dude. How the hell are we gonna find this guy? <laughs> like, oh, no, what no. the hell? It's gonna take a minute. So this RS5 right here, this is like, we've seen it a couple times. So I'm thinking- He looks a little bit suspicious, you know? We've seen him a lot and he just, he just kind of drove off. This Audi that we're looking for- He went right. Just disappeared. But we, I didn't see him go right. Yeah. He ain't over there. Like I'm just saying, as soon as I looked at him, he was gone. <laughs> And I can't find him again. Yeah, I, I couldn't get this a glimpse of him. This dude is kind of sus. The other fun part about this is that, like, everyone sees the car and they're like, "Oh wait, that's not even Jack." So like, they I don't know. even know oh, what they're looking at. It's just some random stupid kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just the dude. The turbos in this car is unmatched. Oh my god, I saw yellow and I got scared. <laughs> I was like, is that the yellow in my car? Dude, that is so clean. That is red. Yo, Will! Oh, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, boy? I saw your car back there. Yeah, they're looking for me. I'm hiding right now. Don't tell them. Hide and seek. Yeah, just shh, hide and seek in a P1. <laughs> so we found 
on the Audi uh, part, so I'm guessing that's not here. All right, so that, that knocks that one off the list. So our key right now is to see what we see again, right? Like, we've only seen, there's the Audi that we just talked about. That's the only car we've seen twice now. So literally, other than the RS5, we haven't seen a single repeat car except for that Passat. I swear I've seen it 30 times. <laughs> okay, is well, he it's, in a that girl, fucking it's a girl Passat? driving it, bro. No one in the passenger seat? No, there's no one in there. It's just a girl. Dude, it's a family. What the heck? Like, that's it, Passat and RS5. All the people. Forget how much attention you get. Just anywhere if you're in a freaking P1. <laughs> this is nuts. Dude, I thought my car got attention. This is freaking how you really shut everything down. We have traffic. <laughs> we, have, we can't move. Come on, boy. You got this, boy. Oh, dude, I can't even merge now. Bro, this is hilarious. You don't even know what's behind it. Oh, 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 he's moving, he's moving. What a legend. Oh, there it is down there. <laughs> Fuck. There it is, you got that. I just saw that P1 again. And There's the Bugatti. Let's go chase him. Okay. All right, so we're coming up on him right now. Yes. Oh, shoot. Yeah, they're they're behind us. Hopefully they don't, they don't get over. Yeah, they're in my mirror. Let me see the camera. He's back there. He's back there. Oh, oh shoot. No. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna I'm go up a little bit. I'm gonna go up a little bit. Yes. Is he Imagine he's in that fucking shoe. I love the roof box. Uh, Super I'm unique. Sure. Yeah? You should throw it on uh, Jack's right there. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to buy it for him. Little birthday present. There you go, my guy. <laughs> so he's not in there, clearly. Okay. Are they right there? He's, he's, he's like right behind this car. This is wild, they're right here. They're, this Camry is the only thing stopping me right now. From freaking, what don't it? go, you better not go. I gotta book it with the Camry. I gotta go, I gotta go. Oh frick. No shot, no shot. I'm not in the Chiron, so the Chiron can film them and see them and everything and they have no idea. Dude, this is crazy. If they don't get us now. <laughs> they are right here. They're right behind. Oh god. Oh wait, they're getting behind the Chiron. So I'm really curious if he's in the P1, and I'm gonna try to catch up to it again. The guy in the Bugatti knows who Jack is. Yeah. So we were we were just talking to him. I got There's a really totally bad chance. So I'm gonna try to kind of come up on him from the other side. Yeah. Oh wait, they're oh. going down there. Yeah. They still don't they're know. Turning, they're turning. Dude, Dude they long. still they have no idea. They, they are so aware of these cars driving around, but they have no idea I'm in it because, dude, they're literally not even following me. Get a they glimpse if he's in the P1. He's right there. P1, right there. Okay, so perfect. We can kind of just gauge it. Oh, oh, here they are. Oh, get down, get down. Yes, he is. He's in the P1! It's fucking him, bro. Dude! Dude. You mother Jack. <laughs> you mother I saw him like sitting back in the seat. He's all like, and then I can see his big dead cat on his mic. Yeah. Okay, Jack. That's funny right there. I think that was it. No way. <laughs> There's... There is no way. <laughs> They had to have known that was me. They had to have known that was me. I love how I was like, get down, Brandon's like slumped like this, like in the passenger seat. Bro, they had to have known. This, oh my gosh. <laughs> we solved the first problem, now we know who it is. The second problem is navigating through this absolute cluster of a city. And, and Jack has a $5 them. million dollar bodyguard right now, so we can't just Dude, like cut him off. for real. What the heck? Oh my gosh. We'll figure it out. We're just, we're stuck in a traffic jam We right spot now. him, we get behind him, and now there's just the biggest cluster of traffic like it could be this worse, city right? like has ever. Look at this, bro. But... We literally can't go. <laughs> we can't take a risk and go right either. Like we're stuck yeah. going straight. Let's just go straight. They're going to turn around somewhere because they know that we know. I'm pretty sure they know by now. Yeah, I think they saw you. I'm gonna give them a shot to turn around and, and pull up behind us. Alright, sounds um, good. You could just pull in right in front. I see it. 
This is just freaking parked camouflage now. Okay. He's so right we're there. We're going. Right, go. Slowly. Yeah. Go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. We found his ass. We're pulling him over. <laughs> he's under, under a camouflage. We're state roughing him, even though he's not from California. He, we found him. <laughs> oh, oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Guys, we're getting pulled over. <laughs> the lights are flashing. Uh-oh, uh-oh. The officer's coming out. Uh, license and registration, <laughs> please. <laughs> you we found you us. Like, I caught you because of the dead cat. I saw yeah. that thing and I was like, you mother. How, was did the... you, how did you pull this off? <laughs> like The Hamilton collection. What the okay. heck, dude? Yeah. It was, you, so you, you like knew for sure when you, we directly passed each other. Oh yeah, yeah. we saw your car. Okay. I saw the dead cat. Yeah. I was like, yep, that's yeah. it. Yeah, dude, <laughs> G G. I love, I love that they were chanting it up. They're like, they're like, <laughs> yeah, we gotta buy that root box tree. I'm like, do they know? I'm like, nah, they don't know. They're no. Nope. <laughs> that was great. That's hilarious. As always, huge shout out to the Hamilton Collection. Go follow them. They have more than just these two cars. They have an entire fleet of vehicles and uh, their YouTube channel will be linked right at the top of the description right down there. But none of this city camouflage craziness would have been possible if it wasn't for these guys. Freaking hell, look at this lineup. What do you know? <laughs> so damn low, or dang low. Yeah, stop swearing, so. <laughs> you mother Jack. <laughs> you mother I saw him like sitting back in the seat. He's all like, and then I can see his big dead cat on his mic. Yeah, okay, Jack.